Are you one of those people who haven't started incorporating chia into your diet? Because you've heard that it's bad for your health? That it will stick to your intestines? Have you heard these strange stories? Then watch this video until the end because today I'm going to tell you about all the benefits of chia and I'll teach you once and for all how to consume chia the right way. So you can benefit from this superfood, which is in fact an ancestral food that was widely used by the Mayans and the Aztecs. So leave your like on this super informative video because it really helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel because this channel has a lot of information about healthy. Who hasn't heard that chia is bad for health? It's better not to eat it. Perhaps you've received a video on WhatsApp from someone saying that chia can land you in the hospital. Are you one of those people? Comment below. I've also heard people pass on these stories to each other. Look, I've heard that chia is very good for the intestine. Isn't it better not to consume it? Is this true or not? It's not true. We just need to know how to consume chia correctly. That's the only detail. I'll teach you how to get the best out of chia in this video. Now let me talk about the benefits of chia, because many of you may not even know that chia is a superfood. Did you know, for example, that chia is super rich in omega-3? It's an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant fat. But why is this so good? It's because anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds help prevent various diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Studies are not absolutely certain that eating more anti-inflammatory foods will prevent these diseases, but there is a lot of evidence to suggest that it does. If you have a more anti-inflammatory diet, you may have a lower chance of developing these diseases in the future. So it's amazing. Chia is super anti-inflammatory and super antioxidant, not only because it has omega-3, but also because it has many anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds. Want to know another amazing thing about chia? It's super rich in calcium and phosphorus. It has a hypoglycemic effect and also has a hypotensive effect, meaning it helps lower blood pressure. I also wanted to tell you another super news that you have probably never heard of. Chaya contains all the essential amino acids we need. In other words, it has complete protein. There are some protein bricks, those elements that form the proteins that we don't produce. They are the essential amino acids, the essential pieces that form our body's proteins, and we obtain these through our diet. Chia has all the essential amino acids you need. There's one detail. To get the protein from chia, I'll tell you in a moment, but basically, it's wonderful because you're excluding chia from your life for no reason. After you watch this video, I'm sure you'll start incorporating it into your diet and learn to eat it correctly. Let's go. The first important information about chia is that when it comes into contact with any liquid, it swells. It creates a gel, which you may already know, but it's important information because since chia became popular, Many people want to consume it daily and in the most practical way possible. Taking a spoonful of dry chia and swallowing it is problematic. Of course, this is the wrong way to consume it. Do you know why? Because when dry chia comes into contact with the moisture of our digestive tract, it starts absorbing moisture and then it can swell and stick in our esophagus, causing even asphyxiation. This is problematic. Since chia became popular, there have been more accidents with chia in hospitals, but people are consuming a lot of dry chia. This is not the correct way. Maybe you started this way and it never happened to you, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Soak chia for at least 15 minutes before consuming it. Take chia, put water or any liquid, and then consume it. Never dry to avoid accidents. Why is it so great to soak chia? It's not just to avoid accidents, but also to help remove all those protective substances from the seeds that decrease chia's digestibility. Isn't that right? Of course, I need to teach you how to make a super easy recipe, so you can always consume chia at least once a week or whenever you want. Sure, you won't be eating chia all day long, but you can eat it a couple of times a week without any problem. It's easy and healthy. What do I do? I have plant-based milk here. It can be any plant-based milk you want. Choose the one you prefer, the one that's more affordable for you, the one you like the most. It doesn't matter. Then I'll hydrate my chia with this plant-based milk. I'll do this at least the night before I want to eat it, whether it's for breakfast, afternoon snack to take to work, or simply for dinner. You do this the night before. It's so easy. Mix it well, and it'll start hydrating while you're sleeping. It couldn't be easier. Then put it in the fridge and consume it the next day. I made a different flavor. I decided to make a vanilla flavor and added bananas and a little thawed raspberry juice on top, which is not frozen anymore. It's delicious. It completely replaces those industrialized yogurts and desserts. If you have children, you can replace them. You'll stop eating processed foods and have a much healthier diet. It's amazing. It looks really beautiful and tastes delicious. It's easy to make, isn't it? You prepare it the night before and it's ready the next day. 
Share this video with your friends so they can discover that chia is good for health. There's just one correct way to eat chia. This is another question you might have. Do I always have to turn it into flour like flaxseed? No, you don't. You can get the benefits of chia even if you don't turn it into flour. You only turn it into flour if you really want to get the protein from chia. I hope you enjoyed it. And what will be the next video you'll watch? I'll leave two recommendations here on the side. Stay healthy! Stay happy!